What's going on YouTube? This is your boy Corey T and I'm back with another video. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you basically my process. I never really showed you guys uh, from start to finish on how I think about, you know, these things. I just kind of get into it and say, hey, this is what the stock I invest do, blah, blah. But let me just show you guys my process. Today's video is sponsored by Rugs by Renee. Y'all go check uh, Rugs by Renee out. Uh, she makes amazing rugs. I'm going to post a few of them right here, right here, right here, right here, right here. Boom. And with that being said, Thank you for sponsoring, showing love because you show love. All right, getting into the video. So today, like I said, I'm going to show you guys uh, how I basically think when it comes to my stock portfolio and how I choose to invest certain stocks. As you see, the stock market is already open, and I'm already I'm already on the positive side of things. However, I'm still in the negatives because of other stocks that haven't been doing too well. Uh, let me scroll down. Invested 1869. Total loss is 343. Am I worried? No. Because, like I said, $300 could go up, it could go down, it could do whatever. It's the stock market, and at the end of the day, it's all a gamble. Um, so, I'm not really too worried. You see the negatives. You see which stocks are doing what. Uh, don't plan on selling them until they get back to the positive side, in which I'm pretty sure they are. Just it take time. Uh, I seen a quote that said, I think it was from Warren Buffett, I believe. It was like... Uh, if you want to win in stocks, it's all about patience or something like that. And I totally agree with that. People see the negatives and they're like, oh, my God, my money's going down. I'm losing money. Chill out, bro. Just chill. As I always say, you got to see it through, my boy. So rock the wave. And with that being said, uh, never just take out because then you lose. You don't want to lose your money. So hold on to it. Put more, more, more money into it, excuse me, and see what it do. But further ado, uh, let's go down. Let's see what's going on. So right now I got my stocks that I'm following. Um, for this video, I'm not going to pick anything too expensive. I just want to show you guys, you know, how I kind of, you know, rock out. Uh, so let's go to like the $3, $4 stocks. Let's see. Let's try ours, what they look like. Uh, they don't shot up already. They're weak. The month a little, a little iffy though. The week uh, stick I'm dropping. Let me go back. Uh, canopy. Oh, these are for, this is for my marijuana smokers. Mary J. All right, anyways. Uh, <laughs> these for my people. Um, uh, so they don't went up, went down. What did we look like? The week was here, then it dropped down. But right now they're back at what four eighty one. I might give these guys a try just to, oh, that year, oh, they must start in, when they started, 2021? Oh, okay, I was about to say, oh, no, they didn't, they started in 2015. Let's see, I don't know, they've been dropping since 2021, but let's see, I mean, I guess I could just look at one more and then make a decision, SQL, no, I'm not rocking with that. I had a bad experience with those guys. I had invested at the wrong time. Lord have mercy. And that was my fault. Uh, I seen the chart going up. and, <laughs> Anyways, further ado, I guess I could just pick one. People always say, well, how do you know? Just you gotta just get into it. If, if you make a right decision, you make a right decision. Iris, I'm still not really too. Let's see. I might go to Canopy, though. I might go. I, I might just do it. Anyways, how much their stock is? Their stock is 482. So if I let's see. 482. Let's say I want 10. No, let's just say I want five shares. That's 24. 10. So let me buy 25 shares. $25 worth of shares. That's approximately five shares. Okay, so confirm. You purchased twenty five dollars. All right, bet. So now, since my purchase, at this very moment in time, it has went down. So I lost five cent. Right. Uh, I'm gonna give it to. Let's see what how the week go. So they have peaks at twelve at nine thirty, which is now. This is within a week. They had another peak at ten. So I'm gonna give it probably 30 minutes to an hour and see if it goes up. They had another peak at 2:30, and then they dropped down 11 o'clock. So yeah, I'm gonna give it an hour or two. What I'm doing is I'm looking at the time in which they have uh, the highest peak. You see, is at 
like 11 o'clock here to and these are different days like this is Wednesday this is Thursday um, this is at 10 11 this is at 3 I have another little point here at 12 so it seems like 10 11 12 is the high and then probably at the end of the day here they drop down so I see them coming back up that's why I bought here they still are dropping but I see them they, they might come back up who knows um, their overall is pretty terrible but I'm only putting a little bit in so I don't really care about the overall if I was putting a lot in then I'd be more skeptical on you know okay long term wise long term is gonna keep going down mm, I don't want to do that but if it's like uh, let's go to one of these big boards heavy hitters uh, like Chesapeake Chesapeake energy they have been climbing since the break of dawn. You see what I'm saying? So there's not many stocks like that. Uh, I chose Chesapeake when I first got started. I don't know how I found it. I just lumped across it. Also, I was just more so trying to find different uh, different uh, stocks that were doing or had the same similar charts, as you guys know. Um, so with that being said, I, I go to all year, month, week, and day. And that's how I rock out um, and just let let my stocks do what they're going to do. I do not uh, day trade, which is invest and then take out. But that's what I'm doing today just to show you guys, you know, how, how it goes down. All right. Now it says Canopy Growth shares are down 10% to 497. All right. So I bought in at 481. It's at 478. I lost 20 cent. I lost 25 cent now. It's going to keep updating. Um, so... That's how you buy a stock. That's step one. Step two is some people, they watch the chart. You can sit here and watch it every minute it updates. And let's see what it said now. 942, which I want to wait a minute. I'll wait a minute. I'm not going to wait a minute. I'll probably be talking by the time the minute happens. Uh, but, yeah, so you can sit and watch it. You don't have to. I literally will buy it, forget about it, come back to it. And then it's it's still at what it's going to be at anyways. I have no control over it. You do. You don't. Only reason I say you do is because you can buy in and it'll make the stock price go up. I do want to mention that if I drop $10,000 into uh, Canopy Growth, it's not going to make the stock just shoot up today in, in the next few minutes or the next few hours or the next few days. Like it's a, it's a process because while you're putting in, somebody somewhere is still taking out maybe or somebody else is putting in. The more people put in, the more people want to buy the stock is what increases the stock price to go up. Uh, if you already into it, you already kind of know that, you know, but if you are fresh to the game and you don't really understand that, that's the whole point of putting money in. You put a large amount in and everybody else is trying to put in as well and it goes up, then you get a bigger return, but you got no one to take out uh, because sometimes you can have problems of I got $70, $70 gain off a $200 investment and you know should I take the money out it could potentially go down it could potentially go up but like I said with this one I'm not I'm not in fear of nothing because the chart for the all year month week and day have all been going up my day right now is it's up it's dropping it's going it's going to do that it's going it's going to take you through the waves it's going to take you through the motion so that's that uh right now I'm at negative 31 cent so now 944 so yeah you can that's how it work you can check out the graphs you can watch it keep watching it um what i do is i'll stop here and then i'll come back uh just to show you guys what it is what it have done or has done within i guess the next hour or two uh with that being said i'll see you guys in a minute all right now i'm back What's going on, y'all? I'm back to your work T, and this is update. Uh, like I did uh, earlier, invested twenty five dollars, and now I am actually up one dollar and uh, forty one cent. As you see, I've invested in at four seventy six, and now it's at five oh nine. So I made a great choice uh, in regards to uh, getting a gain. Um, so now I'm going to go through the process of showing you guys how to sell it. Since I'm doing somewhat okay, I'm not gonna sell the entire uh all my shares. I would 
probably just sell probably one share. Uh, being that it is, let's see. So you go to sell, and then let's say I wanted to sell, and I was going for what five thirteen. So I can sell five dollars and thirteen cent, and that is approximately one share that I'm selling. I made money from it, so technically that is a gain. I'm going to hit confirm. As you see, they are taking uh, government fees, and they got a total sale amount as well. So the total proceeds would be five dollars and twelve cent. Whoop de do. So hit confirm. I just sold that share, one share, and I'm left with four shares and some change. Uh, and like I said, I started out with five shares, and I got four shares and point one nine five whatever. Uh, so I'm still in the positive and I'm still up. So it's that simple, you guys. That's that's my process. Uh, look at the stock. Look at the times. Look at the see, it's one o'clock now. So I was kind of ballparking it at 10, 11, 12. And I, I still should have waited because it's still technically going up. As you see, that's why I didn't sell the whole share or all my shares. Um, so I just want to show you guys the, the process. And that's that's really it, man. That's how I go about it. Uh in this case, this is one of those socks that in the year it has went down in a month. Let's see where it was at. Five seventeen to five fifteen. It still went down but a couple of cents. So nothing too drastic. Uh and within a week, five fifty one to five fourteen. So this stock it barely moves, but it is decreasing. Uh this could be the turnaround for it to come back up. Like I said, this is all a gamble. So with that being said, thank you for stopping by. That's how you buy. That's how you watch it. That's how you sell it. This is Warcourt TV. Thank you.